for the Feast of St. Boniface. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who filled St. Boniface with the spirit of the apostles, continue to spread the good news among all people this day. May your church witness in word and deed to your glory, and through the intercession of St. Boniface, ever grow in service to our neighbor. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it Let's join in singing two verses of Come, O Spirit, Dwell Among Us. Come, O Spirit, dwell among us. Come with Pentecostal power. Give the church a stronger vision. Help us face each crucial hour. Built upon a firm foundation, Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. Still the church is called to mission that God's love shall be made known. We would raise our hallelujahs for the grace of yesteryears, for tomorrow's unknown pathway, hear, O oh Lord, our humble prayers in the church's pilgrim journey. You have led us all the way. Still in presence, move before us, fire by night and cloud by day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, this last day, uh, the second last day, I should say, of the Easter season, uh, calls us to see ourselves, first to see our God as on the move, and us as God's holy people on the move. I love the lines of that uh, hymn that kind of unite the day of Pentecost with the entire journey of God's holy people through the wilderness, through the desert, and God is sim surely calling us still this day. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are pardon and peace for sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are light in our darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since Paul had appealed to the emperor, Festus sent Paul to Rome. When he came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the local leaders of the Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, yet I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. When they had examined me, the Romans wanted to release me because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to the emperor, even though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is for the sake of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. He lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. The word of the Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his gaze examines human beings. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and his soul hates the lover of violence. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. According to John. Glory to you, Lord. After he was raised from the dead, Jesus appeared to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias and indicated the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to Peter, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. (coughs) 
My sisters and brothers, one of the consequences of our isolation time is that people are sending me very, very old jokes. Some old jokes that my grandmother and I laughed about in my childhood. So let's try and freshen up our jokes, would you? But uh, if everyone else is laughing, then probably you haven't heard these. I can't believe that somehow someone hasn't heard them. So, you know there's two automobiles in the Bible. The Lord drove Adam and Eve out in a fury. Do you remember the good old Dodge Fury? And in today's entrance antiphon from the first chapter of the book of Acts, the disciples devoted themselves were in one accord. So the good old Honda Accord, there from the very beginning of the church. I find it very interesting that, uh, oh, well, first I wanted to make a point. Uh, now that my mother's gone to New Brunswick, you can imagine I'm following the news there much more closely. In yesterday's Globe and Mail, they reported there's an outbreak. Uh, a doctor broke isolation and now eight people in Campbellton have been infected. Can you imagine? That's a border town. So many, according to this article, many essential workers go back and forth between New Brunswick and Quebec, and it has not been an issue. Uh, New Brunswick has been spared any deaths as, as of yet. So thank God for that. But I can't imagine one person has now infected eight others. Uh, I, I just pray that each one of us will do our level best, uh, not going by how we feel. Obviously, this doctor did not feel he was doing, uh, he, I'm sure he felt fine or she felt fine, uh, but it, it's not up to, we are not the final an, an analysis of this. We're not the ones to judge. It is what we are taking. So many asymptomatic carriers feel fine, and yet they're bringing uh, <clears throat> disease and possibly death to the people in their community. So please, uh, for the love of God, for the love of your neighbor, uh, do not uh, subject someone else to infection. <clears throat> And so, uh, that little line in, in the gospel today, this was, the beloved disciple was the one who reclined at the supper. At the supper. Already, the last supper, the gift of the Eucharist, uh, has become the supper. Already in the church, they understand the centrality of the Eucharist. I pray when we are safe to regather that our lives will have that same kind of awareness and we will be inviting others now that we know what it's like to go without the body and blood of Christ. We will have a new kind of awareness and we'll be looking to share that with the people we love. <clears throat> the Supper. Okay. But anyways, the disciples were uh, with one accord. Uh, the unity of the church... See, I was going to riff on that. It's not just the, the three, Peter, James, and John, and it's not the 12, it's the five. You can get five adults in an accord, and, and I'm surprised there hasn't been made more of that in Scripture, the, the holy five. <clears throat> but uh, the disciples, the mark of, of Pentecost, we think it's the remarkable gift of tongues and hooray, the, the disciples, instead of being afraid, locked in a room, start acting like disciples. And they go out into the midst of the temple and they proclaim to all the nations. We think that's the, the gift of Pentecost. The gift of Pentecost is the unity of the church. The oneness that comes from the same spirit, the same baptism, one faith, one Lord, one baptism. And that is our power. And any time that we're content to live with brokenness, when disciples uh, can live with, uh, well, we just agree to disagree. We just don't talk about that, either in my family, between churches, or within a community. If we are willing to accept brokenness and non-communication, we are working against the very Spirit of God. 
We're working against Pentecost. We are not living Pentecost. We're trying to undo what God has done. The disciples were one accord with Mary, and they were united. And because they were united, they could do great things. But as long as we are willing to accept something else, a different reality, we can never have that power of Pentecost. We can never be the church that God wants us to be. I've got to put my time and my energy into healing those relationships uh, in my life, in my long family history. Who is the black sheep? Who are the ones that all of a sudden have fallen out of favor in my community, in my faith community, and between our great churches? If you believe in Pentecost, you work for unity. We uh, join in the prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church throughout the world, for our Holy Father, the Pope, for all bishops, for all who lead us. That the church everywhere will find its strength in unity of all Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for the gift of Christian unity, that our communities and our fellowships might strive for that day when all Christians live as one body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those uh, working for our health and safety, especially all health care workers, essential workers, uh, first responders. They will persevere in their good works, and God will bless them for their faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for our sick, those who suffer in body or mind, Today, especially for all those suffering from nervous or mental disease. God will give his people a new heart, a new mind, a new spirit within them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for the intentions each one of us uh, bring to this Mass, especially for the intentions of Fred and Helene Green. For God's continued blessings of health and happiness in all our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for those who have died. God will give all the faithful departed eternal light, life, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God, our Heavenly Father, in the wonder of Pentecost, you call your church into being. Fill us with your spirit. Make us one in Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, Pray, my sisters, my brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, God will be all May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, 
prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Ronald our Bishop, Joseph his Auxiliary, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face 
and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with all the saints who shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, pray the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. I want to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Uh, I'm so very troubled by this experience in Campbellton in 
New Brunswick. I'll post that article on the parish uh, Facebook page. They've put back opening the, the province. There's millions, perhaps billions of dollars in people's livelihoods and all that because of one person who broke the quarantine. Please, my brothers and sisters, please do all you can to be help and not hinder uh, our collective effort to uh, restore the health of our people, of our nation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We'll sing the last verse of Come, O Spirit. Come, O Spirit, dwell among us. Give us words of fire and flame. Help our feeble lips to praise you. Glorify your holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank <laughs> you.